Hey guys, Destin Legary here, and I'm playing some more Indigo Prophecy. I'm gonna continue where I left off uh, in the police station. She looks strange. Hi, Carla. How you doing today? Hi, Doug. Not too bad. Is Tyler here yet? No, not I know of. So, ready for that big retirement? Eh, working on it. <laughs> There's a thing over here. Now, I actually played this all the way through a long time ago. It's, it's a pretty good game if you've never checked it out. Oh boy, cameras. Hey, Carla. Can you tell your partner to pay me back that hundred bucks he owes me? I've been waiting six months for it now. Can't help you there, Jeffrey. Talk to him about it. He's been avoiding me like the plague. Plus, you know, you're the only one he listens to. Catch you later, Jeffrey. I think she has a crush on that guy. Hi, Carla. Hi, Garrett. That was oh, wait, random. Carla. I got some results back on the tests we did for that restaurant murder. Oh. Great. As soon as Tyler gets here, we'll come and see you. Okay, I'll be at my desk all morning. Tyler is still not here. I'd better try to give him a ring. Know what time it is? Oh, shit. Get a move on. The waitress is coming this morning to flesh out the composite on the killer. I'm on my way. All right, let's make him get up. Stay a little longer. Mm, sorry, babe, but I really gotta go. I'll make some coffee. Okay, I'll grab a shower, get dressed, and then I'm out of here. Wow, could this guy be a bigger stereotype? Why would they make him like that? Yeah, super, Tyler. Great idea, going to work in your boxers. Please, no theory of a dead man. Okay. Oh, my God. Ah. Oh. I was joking about this. Well, don't even get. I'm not even gonna talk about it. He's. Oh my god. Hey, you're a good-looking guy. You know that. <laughs> I got bonus for being good-looking. All right. Uh. <laughs> This seems kind of like the start of uh, an adult film. <laughs> it's all the weird music. 
Oh, wait a minute. Oh, I thought she was gonna come in there. Give me more bonus. More mirror bonus. Man, I haven't played through this game in a long ass time. Yep, put on some clothes. Oops, wrong door. Who listens to this kind of music in their apartment? Seriously. Go back to bed, Sam. You're gonna catch a death of cold like that. I'm not cold. Oh, look, Sam, please don't start. I got no intention of dying today. I'm sick of living in fear like this. Every morning I'm, I'm terrified that something's gonna happen to you. Um, understanding. I know how you feel, Sam. There's a lot of violence out there. But if nobody does anything, it's all going to go to It's kind of interesting. You can kind of see something. where I wanna leave them Quantic Dream and David Cage we were going, you know, with the, the but dialogue options. But why does options. it have to be you who's out there risking his life, Tyler? Why couldn't we just go to Florida and work with my family and live a normal life like everybody else? But why do I have to wonder if you're going to die every day? I'm not ready for a normal life yet, Sam. Right now, I belong here. You need to try to accept me for what I am, and what I choose wow. to do. You're just gonna leave? Alright. I'm gonna jack it. I'm a jerker. That's how you're leaving the conversation, alright, wow. I want to talk to her more. No, nope, that's it. I'm a jerk. Oh, here we go. I love you, Tyler. Oh, that is ominous. Oh, come on with the frickin'. A cool cat walking the beat. Hi, Tyler. Oh, uh, Carl is looking for you. Yeah, I know. So, you ready for retirement, man? Yeah, <laughs> I'm working on it. Why does he have a soundtrack? Carla didn't have a soundtrack. I want to hear Carla's soundtrack. It's probably like some swinging jazz or. I don't know. Hey, Carla, I'm here. We can, you know. Oh, hey, crap. Tyler, what do you know? Just the guy I was looking for. Oh, shit. You remember that hundred bucks I loaned you about six months ago? I'd really like for you to get that back to me as soon as possible. Here you go. Like maybe now, for example. Charity. Jeffrey, I'm going to be honest with you, man. I got no more money. I gave it all to charity in an effort to what? make the world a better place for you and for me. That's real funny, Tyler. Now give me my hundred bucks before I get really pissed. Yo, let me make you a deal. I'll play you a game of b-ball for your hundred bucks. If you win, I'll give you two hundred bucks right then. But if you lose, we cool. You'll give me two hundred bucks if I win. You got my word, man. All right, you're on. But don't even think about not paying me if you lose, because that 
Don't Why does he have two gold I'll rings? That's strange. You when I get five minutes. Oh, enough with the, the flippy blip music. The waitress hasn't come in yet? She won't be long. Garrett got the lab results. Shall we go? Alright, let me hang up my coat. I'll be right with you. Okay. See you in a minute. Carla was stressed. Come on, internal monologue. Um, damn it, I probably should have paid attention to what they were saying. Uh, sit down. Use computer. It's a funky looking keyboard. Yes. Oh, I get it. Okay, I don't remember what happens with this character, but that's like three times she's brought up him dying. So, maybe he might die. I don't know. <laughs> Reply. Yes. Just got a drink of water. Come on. Hacker computer. Plays you anymore? I want to be Carla. Or else... Hi, Tyler. Hey, buddy. How's it going? So, what do you want to start with? What did you find on the knife? Got some good prints off it. They match those found on the fork and glass at the suspect's table. So, the murderer was definitely at that table. Anything on the blade? I'm getting to that. We definitely have way over animated there, buddy. But the I do not talk like that. Also found blood <laughs> from the killer. What about the pool of blood in the stall? I move my head a lot too. The blood wasn't from the victim. It was from the killer. What was he doing bleeding in the stall? I have absolutely no idea. Frank found a book on one of the tables. You might want to go to a doctor for that. It was Shakespeare, uh, the Tempest, I think. Did you check for prints? Yep, and they match the ones on the fork and the glass. So it was definitely his book. It looked like a fairly old book. Maybe we can get some more stuff out of it. So, what do you think about all that? I don't have any explanation for the blood in the stall. The victim could have wounded the killer during a struggle, but it doesn't make sense that it would be in the stall. It's as though the killer wounded himself. <laughs> Why not? You get clumsy fools in every other profession. Why not killers? That's kind of a flimsy explanation, Garrett. Well, to each his own, Carla. I do the testing, you figure out the reason why. Thanks for your help, Garrett. See you later. So, what do we do now? You go take care of the composite. I'm gonna go check with the coroner and see if he got anything from the body. Okay, catch you later. Before I go see the coroner, I'm just gonna drop by my desk and check my email. Where are we? Oh my god, why are you running? Go that way. Ah. Hi, Carla, how are you? Hi, Carla. I had to, like, press all the way down to make her go left. That was strange. Get a drink of water. Let's see if you can uh, get a basket like that other guy, Tyler. Oh, I get in throw it over your shoulder. Whatever. 
Um, what's this? It's completely idiotic, but it helps me think. Oh, no, no, I want to do the yo-yo tricks. Here we go. Yo-yo master. Oh, oh yeah. Whoa. Whoa. Oh, that one was good. Good. Nice. Nicely done. Yep. Mm -hmm. There we go. Yep. Whoop. Whoop. Around the world. How long do I do this? I, I get that it helps you think, Carla, but come on. This murderer out there, you know. I think I'm done with the yo yo. You didn't even do the triangle one. The triangle yo yo trick. Anyway, check your email. Uh, light bulb. Uh, whatever this is. Oh. Man, you gotta clean out your desk drawer. Hello. Take bonus cards. I have no idea what those do. Maybe they give me plus five detective bonus. Wow, the internet was really bad when this game came out. <laughs> Volume. Well, that's probably nothing. Oh, wow. Lucas Kane. <coughs> Bill, you're not doing good there, buddy. Go to a doctor. I was shaking all over. The migraine was back and drilling holes into my brain. And to top it off, I couldn't keep enough food down. My body seemed to be fighting against something, but I still didn't know what. Watch that puke off you, yuck. Don't rub it on your face. Oops, okay, sure. I'll take that. Keep getting these bonus cards. Oh, this is where it gets weird. Gotta just live my life no matter what. Don't raise any suspicions. Despite the state I was in, I decided to go to work as though nothing had happened. Hi, Lucas. How's tricks? How's who? I'm in charge of computer maintenance in the Naser and Jones Bank. I share my office with Warren. I was gonna say, dude, you got a badass office. <laughs> oh! Do you know what time Why do I have five? Well, What's actually, I kind of do have five computer screens at my desk. I had a little problem on the way back in. I had to go back home and... And murder somebody. Get ready. What? God damn it. I don't understand those mini games. Am I... Fuck. 
Lucas Kane. Hello, Lucas. Oh, hello, Tiffany. I left a message on your machine last night. Yeah, I know. I, uh... Um, I'd like to come and pick up some stuff at your place. Could I come over tonight? Awkward. I should be back home around 8 o'clock tonight. Okay, it won't take too long. Are you doing okay, Lucas? I gotta let you go. I'm doing a thing here. Bye. Okay, there I did it. Look out, the cop. Lucas, is there a problem? What no, I, I just the hell just that. happened? It seemed so real. I saw that coffee cup fall. What's that? Is that you and that girl? Tiffany. Nice, is pretty, dude. About two years ago, I guess. I haven't been able to throw it away yet. Why do you keep things that make you depressed? Yeah, let's look at that cross. What? Jesus, give me f extra chances of life. Oh my god, the coffee, it spilled. Lucas? You okay? Yeah, yeah, I'm, I'm fine. Let's need a hit. Use the computer already. Oh my goodness. Hello? Yes, sir. We'll get on that right away. Station 62 is down. I'll go. No, forget it. I'll, I'll handle it. Whatever you say. There's some bugs out there, dude. It happened. Just like I'd seen it. <laughs> like the cop in the apartment. Is it possible that I can really see things before they happen? I can see minor things that will have... that don't matter happen. Dum dum dum. Do do do. Oh, Ooh. is this no? One too far. Where am I going? Oh, that kind of creeped me the hell out. What the hell? Yeah, that's pretty weird. What? Bug things got me. Let go. Jerk. He's just kind of doing all this. <laughs> oh, there he goes again. Running from the bug. So 
such a strange shit. Yeah, I kinda royally screwed that up. This isn't like timed right, it's off or something. Very strange. Oh yeah. Hey, nice seeing you again, dude. No. No. Did I fail? Or? Lucas? Lucas, what happened? Ah. Can you hear me? Are you alright? Hey, you've hurt yourself. You're bleeding. I, uh, I gotta go. I didn't have the slightest idea what had happened. The one thing I do know, those things almost killed me. Weird. Anyway, I think that's where I'm going to stop this video. Uh, be sure to join me for the next one. And for more about Indigo Prophecy, be sure to keep it locked on IGN.